I'm Kevin Mullen. I'm Jenny Kemp, and we're in Troy, New York at Rareform Brewing Company. <laughs> Rareform came from a, I would say, a years of writing down every type of name that we would come across. One day we thought uh, Rare just kind of popped in, and we're like, you know, I really like the word Rare. How can we use this more? Um, it just more distinctive to what our beers are. And uh, Jenny's art then is also a lot to do with line and form. And so we thought, how can we incorporate the art and the beer together? And it became Rare Form. Uh, when we said it, that, that, that was perfect, you know, the double entendre with it uh, just fit really well to, you could be in rare form in multiple different ways uh, and uh, it was a fitting for the name. This is our tap room. Everything flows uh, towards the, the brewery system itself. Uh, the whole idea is to get people to feel like they're a part of it and to also um, keep the focal point on the beer. I went down to visit one of my brothers in college and the science teacher in this class pretty much taught how to make beer uh, and I thought that was just the coolest thing ever and thought never even came across my mind of being able to make beer before until after that and that piqued my interest. The artwork here at the brewery is the result of a couple of things. I am an artist and was really excited about the idea of being in charge of visual elements here at the brewery and the labels being what we think is a really important component of the beer. It's the first thing people see, it's the first thing that gives people impression about the beer and so I've designed a lot of the labels and and we also have so many artist friends here in Troy and throughout the US and so we thought it would be really interesting to get you know not just us involved in the artwork here but all of our artist friends to be a part of this as well and so we hire them to make beer labels um, from time to time on some of the rotating beers that we do here. We don't really give them any restrictions. We let them sort of have free range to do what they want to do. We obviously let them taste the beer and make their you know, visual interpretation of that beer. Sometimes we'll work almost as a, a collaboration between the artist and, and the recipe itself where we'll look at what, what do they enjoy to drink, what do they like out of beer, what, what do they envision in, in, you know, in their head when they're working on their label and then we'll take that and help, that will help build the recipe for the beer itself. So we're back into the brewery area. We came out here expecting that we would go back to Seattle and open the brewery out there but then fell in love with the East Coast and the proximity to New York City and Boston and Montreal and just the, the culture, how it can change in just 30 minute drive. We're a, a five barrel system, but we have four vessels and it's actually split into two different systems. So we've got, these two are two mash tons, our outside are two boil kettles. So we're doing uh, two and a half uh, barrels of beer on this side and two and a half barrels of beer on this side at the same time, uh, which allows us to do five barrels of beer in all. Troy's got fantastic water, uh, which is foremost one of the great things that you need to make beer. Uh, second, the city was really happy to help us out with everything that we needed to get things up and rolling. Uh, and kind of in a way pushed us in the right direction from the beginning. Uh, it's also got a great craft beer scene. You know, you've got the Rock right around the corner, which is a fantastic craft beer bar. You've got Slide and Dirty that's just up and coming. Um, and I think now it's become one of those t cities in the capital region that is where everybody goes for a good craft beer. So these are our two 10 barrel fermenters. Uh, we call them uh, Laverne and Shirley. And these are our three five barrel fermenters, which is uh, Larry, Curly, and Mo. Uh, we are lucky enough to source some of our ingredients locally. Uh, we're actually a New York State farm brewery, which means that we have to use 20% of all New York ingredients for all of our beers. Uh, we work with a, a couple different malters, one Pioneer Malting Company over in Rochester, and they get source uh, grains from five different farms. So the process would go from our mash tun to our boil kettle through a heat exchanger over into our fermenters, aging the fermenters, which these three are doing right now. Uh, once that's done, we can ship, send it over, transfer it over to uh, two bright tanks uh, and then carbonate them in the bright tank to get it ready to go and then send it over and keg it up with our kegging machine. Well, we do participate in a few festivals around the area. Uh, we were at BCTC, which is Belgium Comes to Cooperstown at Oma Gang a couple weekends back. Uh, we do a lot of New York State Brewers Association festivals because that money goes back to New York State Brewers. Uh, helps us get laws passed and work on that. Uh, and then we'll also be at the Great American Beer Festival in Denver coming in September.